Hello everyone, this is Adam Noyce, I'm a video production specialist, and today we're going to be unboxing the RGB Link Mini Plus. Alright, so let's unbox this puppy. Now if we flip this over to the back of the box, what I like about this unit is that it contains everything that this piece can do. So you've got USB 3.0 streaming port, you have preview video sources, seamless switching, configurable HDMI output, picture-in-picture, -picture, transition effects, audio insert and extract, remote control apps, and finally, but certainly not least, PTC and DSK features. Here's the unit itself. It comes wrapped up in this. Here she is. As you can see, this is a four camera mixer. You have four HDMI ins, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, HDMI 4, and you have one HDMI out so you can actually see what you're mixing and how you're mixing it. And if we go to the front here, you can actually see where you control each one of those cameras. Here's HDMI 1, HDMI 2, HDMI 3, and HDMI 4. And you can either fade to each shot using this little T-bar right here, or if you just want to cut, all you need to do is press whichever camera you wish to go to. These two knobs here actually help you navigate your menus. Here's your setting menu, here is your main menu, and interestingly, these also control your PTZ cameras. This is for your X axis, this is for your Y axis. Now this is the main side panel for the RGB Link Mini Plus. Uh, as you can see, you have your LAN port, a USB port, and your audios in and out. Uh, this is how you can bring audio in, and this is how you can actually hear what's being mixed on the system. So pretty cool there. So what's cool about the USB port is that this is used for streaming. You plug it into your PC or laptop, and it shows up as a webcam. And then, of course, here's your LAN port, so you can actually connect it to the network. You can connect it directly to a camera for IP control. All sorts of options here. You connect it to a network switch. This is a just standard USB 3.0 cable. Here is your standard instructions. I actually use this to help set this up the first time, so really important. Now in this box here are all of your power adapters. Here is the actual plug for your power adapter. Now what's interesting here is that this plug, where you put it into the back of the unit, can actually screw into place, locking it. So there, you don't have to worry about it getting pulled, you don't have to worry about it getting torn out. Certainly, last but not least, you have your power adapters themselves, so you can plug them into the wall. Here is one, and here is another. So this is a great alternative to the Ada Mini Pro. And one of the things that really separates this apart from the Ada Mini Pro is that this actually has PTZ control. And that's really important, especially if you don't have the crew behind you, especially if you are in a really tight spot and you can only fit one person in there. The RGB Link Mini Plus is definitely a must for people who are just getting into streaming, for people who are on the go. This is the switcher for you and you can give us a call at any time if you want more information about the RGB Link Mini Plus. So stay tuned for more videos from us, and this is Adam Noyce saying sayonara.